So it's been two years since I've been on YouTube. 24 full months of YouTube life. And it's a lot different than I thought it would be. It was August 23rd, 2019, I uploaded my first video and me and my wife were talking the other day and we were like, you remember when I recorded several videos and I even edited a full video and I brought it home to my wife and I was like, look, here's my first video. And she was like, that's not you. I, who is this? The, you turn the camera on and it completely changed who you are. And I was like, yeah, I know, it's hard. I like had all these ideas leading up to it for the first few months. I'm like, I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. I'm gonna do all this stuff. I got the gear and then I turned on the camera and it's hard to talk into a camera. And even after two years, I find myself, if I haven't done it in like a week or two, I'm like, how do I speak to a camera again? I forgot, I don't, I don't know. It's difficult. Anyways, maybe one day I will show you that very, awkward footage and I'll, I'll say there are there's there's awkward videos on my channel now I decided to just leave everything up even if I hate it you can go back and watch some of the old stuff and it's just it's weird and maybe one day I'll look back at this video and think it's awkward anyways the point of today is to remind you that I am celebrating two years on YouTube and because it's been two years on YouTube I wanted to give back to all of you right now how many how many of you are there 6,368 subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. And because you have supported me so well, I love this community. I always like giving back. When people give me things, I just give it away, especially if I don't need it. And this time I took it a step further and I added some of my own funds. I bought a pedal board and a power supply and all the cables and wires. In addition to what the new XFX folks gave me and we put it all together in the last video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. And I'm giving it away, here it is. Boom, a complete pedal board. Like I said, it's on a pedal train Nano Plus decked out with four new XFX pedals. You can go check out several other videos that I've done so you can hear what it sounds like. We're not doing that today. Powered by the True Tone One Spot CS6, a great power supply. Fits under the board. It's plug in, ready to go. You don't even need an amp. We got the solid studio. You can go XLR out everything you need to just get up and running. So make sure you click the link below and sign up for the giveaway and make sure you do all the bonus entries so you can increase your chances of winning. There's a bunch of you who have signed up already. Kingsumo.com. We have 1,161 contestants entered in the giveaway already. That's my biggest giveaway so far. I've done, this is my fifth giveaway. I do giveaways as much as I can. Two years, five giveaways. Oops. And I have more coming up. I have more giveaways. One of which just came in the mail yesterday or the day before. So if you follow me on Instagram, you actually got a sneak peek of what that will be. We'll hook all that up later. I actually haven't had a lot of time to do a lot of things because me and my family are remodeling our house and there's dust everywhere. And anyways, that's not the point of today. The point of today, today's video is I got a comment yesterday and it said this. It was actually a question from an older video and it was by Matt Lynn. He said, what uh, foot switch expression setting do I use for a TRS dual TS split Y cable for the one dual switch and one expression pedal? And I thought, that's actually a really good question and I don't think I've covered it on this channel specifically. So I've set up my rig and we're gonna go through uh, some of the settings that you need to know in case this is something you wanna do. All right, so I have my setup here and what we want to do is we want to use a, the question was, can we use a dual switch and an expression with a split Y cable? I have a TRS on this end, which that's the eighth inch thing and then I have the little adapter right here just because that's what I got. And on this end, it just splits into two TS cables and usually they are labeled like these are tip and ring so you can see which one is which, which is helpful because we're gonna need to know that. All right, the reason it's important to know that you have tip and ring is because you only have two options. You have the tip or the ring. And so the question that was presented is they wanna use an expression pedal and a dual switch like I have here, but that would be three things. So you can't use three things at once, at least not that I'm aware of, because you either have the tip or the ring. And so a dual switch uses a tip and ring. If you come out TRS and go in TRS, you can set foot switch four, switch, foot switch five, and you're using both. But if you want to use expression, you can also have TRS to TRS and have two different expressions set up for two different things. Or you split it so you can use one foot switch on like the tip, and, and or actually I have it ring, and the expression on the tip. So let's do this. All right, so I have a preset here called It Is Finished A, and we wanna do some things. So first, let's go to our um, global settings. We're gonna press the hamburger menu, which is page left, page right at the same time. Scroll over page right, go to global settings, and here are our preferences. We go over to the person, and we scroll over one page, and we have our expression foot switch tip, which is this one. We have our expression foot switch ring, which is this one. And I already have set up to what we want. 
Um, you could do it the other way. Let's let's switch them. Let's do the tip. I have it set it for expression, but let's say we wanted to switch these, just in case. Might as well for display purposes. All right, now this is the tip. So the tip we want set to foot switch, and it's this one's foot switch four. And now we have our ring over here, and we need to put it on expression two. Normally the tip polarity is on normal, and so let's just leave it on that for right now, and I'll show you it's gonna maybe cause a problem and we'll know how to fix it. All right, now let's do something. Let's go into edit mode, we'll push the home button, and what I wanna do is I want to set up my expression to uh, bring up and down the gain, because why not, that'd be fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down gain, and now my controller comes up, and we put this on expression one, was it? Actually, I don't remember because I changed it. Let's go back and find out. Expression two, that's what I thought. All right, so I'm gonna hold this down. We're gonna put this on expression two. We want to change the gain. It's already on that. I could pick a lot of different things, but we're going back to gain. Let's page over, and we want our minimum value to be like at 4.7. I don't know why. And we want our max value to be at 7.4 because, yeah, awesome. All right, we're gonna move that, and now it memorized it. So I'm gonna push home again, and now it's moving the gain up and down from 7.4 to 4.7. But you notice that the heel is 7.4 and the toe is 4.7. So let's go back to our global settings and um, our tip polarity, we can change, um, but we actually are on the ring. Expression is on ring, not tip. So we're gonna go over another page and find the ring polarity and make that inverted. Now we should be good to go. Let's see, let's scroll back over to the Timmy. Boom, now the heel is 4.7, the toe is 7.4. Boom, I hope that was easy and simple to understand. Now, let's set something for our dual switch. Let's remind ourselves what we set that to. Foot switch four, so foot switch four. Let's do something with foot switch four. I am over here, do I have? No, I don't. I don't have anything assigned to the retro reel. The retro reel, I love that setting. This here is my worship template. Um, if you have the Expanse Pack, which if you don't know about the Expanse Pack, it is a an ever-growing collection of presets that I always am dumping new things in. You pay once, you get updates for life, forever. So you should get it now while it's as cheap as it'll ever be. And the sounds are amazing and included in it is the worship template. So let's assign Retro Reel to Foot Switch 4. We'll push the hamburger button, we're gonna do Bypass Assign, and we're gonna set it to what we want. And it was already on Foot Switch 4. There it is. Boom, so now Foot Switch 4 turns on and off our Retro Reel. Just like that, that easy. And so that's how you use um, a, a Foot Switch and an expression pedal at the same time. So let's also set our expression for Wow and Flutter, just because we'll hold Wow and Flutter, we want the parameter to be controlled by expression two, and we want the minimum value to be 4.1, and we want the maximum value to be 7.9, just because. Boom, there we go. Now, the wow and flutter, and also the gain is controlled by this, and we can turn it on and off with that. So you can do multiple things, you can set multiple parameters just like any other foot switch, it's that simple. If you thought this was helpful, like the video so that I know, comment down below any other questions that you might have with this, I may not have covered everything because this was pretty quick. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and like I said, sign up for the giveaway. Somebody's gonna get it, it might as well be you. Sign up. All right, I gotta get back to work, so I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.